Hey there. Have you ever been drawing on your Huion H610 Pro V2 graphic drawing tablet Android supported pen tablet tilt function battery free stylus 8192 pen pressure with 8 express key And you thought to yourself I really like this drawing but is there any way to make it better? Well no I wasn't thinking about that <laughs> Well now you are Please don't hurt me start off this video with a little bit of a history lesson. Up until the 2000s, most cartoons that you would see on TV would use a technique of animation called cell animation. So how it worked was that you had a pencil drawing, and then you would trace over that onto a plastic sheet, and then you would fill in all the colors on the back using paint, and then you would take a picture of it. However, once computers got powerful enough, there really wasn't a need to do all that anymore, because you can just do all the drawing and the outlining and the coloring on the computer. So basically, bottom line, this is a photograph, and this is a digital file. Digital animation may have made things a lot faster and easier, but it does lose a lot of the charm and, and spirit and life that comes from the, the old-timey, the old-school looking cell animation. You know? Which brings us to the question, and the, the thing I probably should have said at the you know, the very beginning. How do you make digital animation look cell animated? You see that? That's a clap sync. So the first thing we want to do, if we're going to make something look cell animated, we got to, you know, we got to have a drawing to work with. So let's just make some drawing real quick. And here we have our, our beautiful subject for today. Thank you very much. You hear that? That's my MacBook. Probably the first step in uh, trying to get this to look cell animated is to add a shadow behind it. This is probably like the thing you'll hear most often. Um, so you gotta, you should duplicate the drawing layer anything you got on the drawing layer and invert the selection and just fill everything in black. It's all black. It's, it's, it's dark and emotional. It's not like the other <laughs> drawings. So now we got a shadow layer. Oh, that is, that is not a, <laughs> that's not a good look. There. We got a shadow. See, that has a shadow. So, um, I'd say the next step is probably the most important step to getting it to look, to get that old-fashioned cell look, is adding a blur over top of everything. Okay. So, and you're probably wondering why? That's because you gotta keep in mind what cell animation really is, is it's a camera focusing, trying to focus on a drawing. And no matter how like high quality of a camera you had, there's, it's always a little out of focus. So in order to get that kind of out of focus look, you need a blur layer on top of everything to make it look out of focus. That's the most important step, I would say, is having that filter over top to make it look out of focus. So in order to do that, you would make a blur layer and then turn the opacity to about a third of the way. See what I'm talking about? You see like the, the kind of darker edges around the eyes and uh, the ears? kind of like the blurry, out-of-focus look. That's what I'm talking about. Now, if you're not nitpicky, this is pretty much where it stops. This is pretty much the basic cell look, the easiest way. So if this is all you wanted to know, congratulations. I, I'm, a, I'm a great teacher, aren't I? But if, if you're wanting to go really authentic, then there are a couple of other steps. One of those steps would probably be 
adding a grain filter over top. Now, the program I'm using, which is Krita, Krita, and I don't know, it doesn't really have its own, like, film grain filter. At least I don't think it does. So I just use this this picture I have and put it over top and kind of sharpen it a bit in order to to get the grain more like, you know, make it pop more. And then you just turn that really low opacity. I guess it kind of depends on how how grainy you really want it to look. And I want the grains to be a little bigger. So I'm just gonna stretch it out more. This is very professional, I know. So now we have this. And about like four, three. Yeah, that, that looks good. So that's the next step. And then if you really, really, really want to get technical, you can also add what they call color aberration. You probably haven't noticed it, but it's on a lot of old cartoons where the, the colors aren't quite, you know, right. They're, they're not quite lined up exactly right. So a way to do that in Krita or Krita or whatever is that what you can do is you can have a red, a green, and a blue layer. And you can move each of these colors in different directions. And it will make it look more, more vintage. And that's about it. That's pretty much it. Th those are the, the, the steps that I would recommend to making it look so animated. Having a shadow, having the blur, having the grain, and having the, the, the color around the edges. And I'd say that there's probably like an order that they had to be layered in in order for this to really work. The shadow go goes underneath the drawing, then the blur goes over top of that. Then the grain goes over top of that, and then you do the color separation. So there's the tutorial. Th thank you so much. I'll be here all week, except I won't because I hardly post on my channel. <laughs>